I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series. We are providing solutions to some questions from Cambridge International Examination. Here is Advanced Mathematics Paper 2, question number 6. The function f of x is equal to minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 10, where x belongs to real numbers. Part A is calculate f of 2. Second part of A is write f of x as a product of two algebraic factors using the answer of 1A, right? B. Prove that there are exactly two real solutions to the given equation. Now, if you compare these two equations, the only difference is x to the power of 3 has become y to the power of 6, right? Part C is deduce the number of real solutions for theta greater than or equal to 7 pi less than 10 pi to the equation 3 tan cube minus 8 tan square plus 9 tan theta minus 10 equals to 0. Now here, x cube has become tan cube theta, x square has become tan square theta, and tan theta is replacing x, correct? So that is the relation between the given equation and the polynomial. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the very first one to evaluate the value. So we need to just substitute 2 in our equation. So we get minus 3, 2q, plus 8 times 2 square, minus 9 times 2, plus 10, right? So now we can use calculator to figure this out. So we have uh, minus 3, within bracket we have 2 cube, plus 8, within bracket we have 2 square, minus 9, within brackets 2, plus 10. And that gives you 0. So we get 0 for this. So we found that f of 2 is 0. What does that mean? It means x minus 2 is a factor, right? Part B is right, f of x is a product of two algebraic factors. So from here, we know that x minus 2 is a factor. To find the second factor, we could perform division, right? Um, so let's do the long division. So I'll use the space to perform division. So let me write like this. Okay. We have a minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 10. We need to divide by x minus 2, right? So to take care of minus 3, I'll take minus 3x squared here. x cubed will get, right? So we get minus 3x cubed minus 3 times 2 is 6 minus minus is plus 6x squared and when you take away you get here 2x squared bring down 9x right so 2 we have to multiply by 2 to get 2x rather 2x to get 2x squared so we get 2x squared minus 2 times 2 is 4x now here we are left with minus 9 take away 4 will be 5, right? So 5x, bring down 10, which is plus 10 here. So minus 5 times, right? So that gives you minus 5x, that becomes 10, and the remainder as expected is 0. So write this as a factored form. So obviously, we could write f of x as equal to x minus 2 times all this, which is minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Is that clear? So those are the two factors. Now, prove that there are exactly two real solutions for this equation. So next equation for us is where x cube has been replaced by y to the power of 6 or x is replaced by y squared, right? So the only difference in these two equations is that we have y squared instead of x, right? Okay. Now to prove that there are exactly two real solutions to this equation, uh, 
let us see uh, for the first one how many real solutions are there now we have seen that there is one real solution for f of x which is at x equals to 2 now let's test this one okay so you can test using b square minus 4ac okay okay so i'm going to uh, solve it uh, here itself so in this case if i do b square minus 4ac we have to check what we get if we get this as less than zero that means there is no real solution for this factor is it okay for this factor correct that's what it means right so we'll do this testing here and then we'll conclude the result perfect so let's find b square minus 4ac so b square minus 4ac for f of x we are doing for f of x okay is now our term b is 2 right so it is 2 square minus 4 times a is minus 3 and c is minus 5 okay so which is 4 minus so that becomes 5 times 4 20 times 3 60 right which is minus 56 now that is less than 0 therefore the second factor has no solution so we can say that f of x has only one real solution right and that is so the real solution is x equals to 2 is the only real solution for f of x correct now what we have here is is f of y so in this case we are given f of y and what we see here is that uh, y square is basically so x has been replaced by see x has been replaced by y square right so y square is basically x correct? in f of y now we know that x equals to 2 is the only real solution for f of x so for f of y what is x square equals to right so x square equals to 2 correct now x square equals to 4 squaring both sides that means y equals to y equals to we have to find now y right so x square is basically 4 so if i see we could replace this x by y square basically right we should do like this not x square so y is actually square root of x so that is the solution so whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus right or think like this y square is equal to x implies that y equals to plus minus square root of x correct so that gives you plus minus square root of 2 so these are the two real solutions right so we can conclude that f of y has two real solutions which are plus minus square root of 2 is that clear to you right so we concluded from the fact that if you relate these two equations f of y is equal to all this which is same as saying that y square is x right so since x has only one solution of 2 x equals to 2 y square will have plus minus square root 2 as its only solutions clear so that is how we are going to answer part b now let's look into part c which is deduce the number of real roots for theta which is greater than 7 pi and less than 10 pi now here what we have is a trigonometric equation which is uh, in terms of tan right so let's uh, see that this basically implies so we'll do part c now uh, in this space so i'm using a different thing so in part c we can say that tan theta equals to 2 is the solution from 
part a is that okay because this is the equation cubic equation in terms of tan now if you see the tan theta function equals to 2 then tan is positive in these two quadrants correct so we have solutions in two quadrants now if you're looking into the domain 7 pi to 10 pi that basically means so if you go like this first is 2 pi then second turn 4 and then 6 pi and then this is 7 pi right then 7 pi to 1 full circle 9 pi and this right so that is what you're looking for correct so you can see in going like this we land up in three solutions right so when you go from 7 pi to 10 pi then we have for every pi one solution correct every pi gives you one solution so within 7 pi so first solution we get here and then when you cross so this is your eighth pi you get the second solution right and then this is after your ninth pi you get this solution and then basically you are landing here right so that is not a solution right so seven eight nine and ten ten is not included right so when you go like this these are your three solutions do you see that so every pi really gives you one solution so from seven to eight eight to nine but then 10 is not included well so you get basically three solutions so you have three solutions as shown in the diagram is that clear to you so that is how we could actually solve this question i hope that helps so basically in this question we have interpreted the cubic equation and its solution with different scenarios in one case the equation was modified replacing x with y square and in the other case x was replaced by tan theta so i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great and in case there are any questions you feel free to send an email to the address given here thanks for your time and all the best